Uh, Peter Franklin is the Gabby Cabby in New York City. Good morning, Peter Franklin. Good morning, good morning. Live from the streets of New York, about to be just covered with snow. Once again. Uh, although you guys got rain last week. We got over, uh, I got to tell you, my backyard, 18 inches of snow. Someone reporting 40 inches of snow. And somebody yesterday uh, on Monday reporting 50 inches of snow from over the weekend. Just crazy, but you have, it uh, looks like, a, another nor'easter coming in, right? I'm predicting 400 feet of snow. 400 feet in New York City. Well, you might have that when they pile it up. I always find it interesting. When uh, New York gets a lot of snow, how do they get rid of it, Peter? Well, what they do is they push it into big, big piles. I'm not kidding about this. And then they have snow-melting machines, which turn it into sewer water, and it goes out the sewer system. It would be easy just to push it into the Hudson or the East River, but that would be kind of pollution, so they don't do that. They actually go to an awful lot of trouble. And it's estimated, here's a little factoid, that it costs us about a million dollars an inch to clean it up. Oh, Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, and, and I got to tell you, my son is uh, flew into uh, JFK, um, and I'm like, "Oh no, what are you doing?" Um, he will be flying out tomorrow evening, and I'm like, "You're not going to get out tomorrow evening." I don't know what you're thinking, right? I mean, how, you, you can be a storm. All uh, once there's a storm at JFK LaGuardia, they just shut down. Yeah, well, t- generally speaking, LaGuardia and JFK are terrible airports. I always recommend people who are coming from. Any kind of distance, go to Newark. It's a much, yeah. much better airport in many, many ways. And when there's some kind of trouble or problem at Kennedy or LaGuardia, they just seem to collapse completely. Uh, Schumer, the pistol permit holder. Yeah, well, I mean, it's an interesting story that's floating around now. It may or may not be true. I mean, I want to point that out, so I guess I'm rumor-mongering. But the fact of the matter is, is that I would say that if Schumer doesn't carry a gun, as it's now being alleged, uh, somebody in his group or his party probably does. I mean, that's just the nation, the nature of famous people stuff, and would make him one of the biggest hypocrites going. When the police department was asked about it, they said, uh, uh, we don't reveal who is allowed to have a gun permit or not. Yeah. But it would be kind of strange for a guy who's so anti-gun to have packing heat. Uh, you have a picture uh, on your website that shows Schumer. Um, what kind of gun is that, by the way, that he's shooting? It's some kind of an automatic yeah. weapon that he was doing at a rifle range. But that's yeah. a long time ago, so, I mean, I don't know that that is really a fact. Yeah, he's, he's still a dark hair then. Yeah, and, and yeah. most of it still, and most yeah. of it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, hypocrite uh, at best here. How about uh, this prestigious university, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, oh, wow. has done a financial examination of Uber. Interestingly, yeah, I mean they've they've pointed. I mean they've just flooded it. They estimate now that New York City has maybe like twenty six thousand. That's right. That's two six comma north 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 twenty six thousand <laughs> Uber drivers floating around. They have just 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 so. Flooded, flooded the market. It's unbelievable. And so now MIT, which normally is, uh, I think, a pretty, you know, worthy thing, uh, is pointing out how little money each one of the drivers make. They're just, as I say, flooding the market, and it's turning out to be a real mess. Uh, New York City is in a uh, situation, this is going to get everybody going, but New York is going to pay a total of $180,000 to three women, three Muslim women who were forced to take off their hijabs for mugshots. Is this a, a true story? Yeah, it's a true yeah. story. Your chief correspondent doesn't lie. Maybe You're on it. Sometimes I stretch the truth a little bit, <laughs> but I don't lie. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that the city paid out. Our, our legal department here in New York City, really, in most instances, if you want to sue the city of New York, you're going to probably turn out to be okay, because they just give up. And on this one, this was a giving up one. They never, ever, ever should. I mean, it's just not reasonable at all. So if you're thinking you want to make a little money, come down to New York City and sue us for something. When you got, when you have a um, – go ahead. Well, w- w- where are you on this, Peter, that they should have had to take them off or they shouldn't have? Because Absolutely. I, I, d- I, mean, you got, I mean, you know, this, that's like – If it's a mugshot, uh, how, could you, how could you do a mugshot without 
I mean, you've broken the law. How can you have a mugshot without showing all of their face? I was going to say, it can be as kind yeah. of a disguise. On the other side, I would say... But if they're always uh, looking like the, that, they that's always look be like the that. appropriate picture. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I guess I, I don't know where to fall on that. It's yeah, a tricky no, one. It's, I mean, it, 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 look, the, the fact of the matter is, if you're arrested, I mean, there's a certain procedure, and you get the fingerprinted and photographed and all of this kind of stuff. And to say that there's a religious reason why you can't have your face photographed not in oh, that particular okay. situation i mean it wasn't like they were walking into yankee stadium to see a baseball yeah, game yeah. all right interesting <laughs> and i've run out of time because you've got a ton of really good stories on here the uh, john legend's girlfriend is uh, or wife is pregnant um there was a really interesting story on Saki that i wanted to get into and then there's the percoco case quickly uh, i have 10 seconds guilty or not guilty what do you think they'll come back with Oh, I think, it, I mean, it's just the, the point of my bringing up the story was the fact of the use of the word is ZD. ZD, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, which hey. is reality and which is television. I mean, that was I, the big line in Sopranos. I, I got to pay the ZD. Uh, the ZD's got to be paid right now. We got to break commercials, news. Peter, thank you so much. It's Gabby.com. Have a wonderful day.